Okay, well I had some success with my uh, asymmetric machine learning tool and uh, I was having terrible luck trying to get it to work and I had to uh, rethink the whole thing and uh, decided that perhaps what was wrong was the whole concept of the armature uh, was wrong and that I just wasn't understanding the dynamic of how the armature and the contacts interrelated with one another. So, um, worked all day yesterday and failed and uh, then slept on it and then decided that perhaps what I needed was that kind of armature where the coils are interrelated to one another. They're not separate on each side of the um, axis, but they're actually interwoven. And I believe on uh, UFO politics motors that's one of the keys is the overlap windings on those intricate armatures and this overlapping of the coils and when I studied his uh, uh, enlightenment video again and thought about it uh, I think this is perhaps one of the secrets is the way these coils um, charge and discharge charge and discharge in an asymmetrical fashion and anyway I got this to work and it worked pretty darn pretty darn neat uh, there's some certain things I didn't do correctly. I just had to wind wire on top of the coils I already had to make the second coil. I, I series connected the first two coils and then wound wire on top of the coils to create the secondary second coil, which isn't right. But uh, anyway, I got it to work. And I have this connected today in the fashion where you put the coils in series by connecting them here then you put the energy in here and it makes them go all the way around like this and there's three or four different ways you can configure this machine and I agree with UFL politics I think the correct name for this is a machine uh, rather than calling it a motor because of the, what it does and how it does what it does um, and the way you can configure it I like the idea that uh, he's calling it a machine so let me uh, show you how this works this is a 10 farad supercapacitor about 2.3 volt. Um, there's nothing going on here. There's nothing, uh, nothing here. But uh, when I energize this, this runs for quite a while, and I was surprised because the friction on this is terrible. I've got terrible friction. Uh, there's no bearings at all. It's just nails through wooden dowels. But let me show you what happens here. Pretty, uh, pretty neat stuff actually. Um, I worked and worked and worked with this today and the generator part of it isn't working quite right but the uh, rest of the motor works really really good and uh, like I say this this was rather fascinating that this um, this worked as crude as this was that this little motor actually did work or machine if you want to call it a machine but um, yeah, anyway, um, this is where I'm at with the uh, asymmetrical machine learning tool. And I'm Lid Motor, and this is the uh, 3rd of August, 2012. And that's my little uh, asymmetrical machine running right there on a capacitor. And like I say, that's a 10 farad, 2.3 volt uh, capacitor. It's making that thing work. One other thing I wanted to do is let you listen to what it sounds like. It has a very strange sound. And there, there have been some comments whether we're seeing a radiant energy uh, uh, event go on in here and I don't know but uh, the collapsing and charging of those coils uh, with a, an abrupt spark um, does some very interesting things but uh, it's worth more study but considering the very poor build quality on this machine I was very surprised that it did what it did and I think it has to do with these coils now UFO politics if this is wrong I sure apologize for the mistake, but uh, this was the best I could do here. Thanks for watching.